Welcome back, Bears and Twinks. Welcome back, any of our 22 new subscribers from the last video. That's crazy. You guys are popping off, and so are a lot of people in the comments with their new Fell Bear skins. Very happy for them. Some people still having trouble. Totally understand. Some people don't like the prospect of farming gear. Again, none of that's mandatory. We're going to show you that right now. I'm entirely outfitted in Dragonflight gear. You know, 404, good gear not found. I do have consumables. We got the Greater Flask of the Currents. Superior Battle Potion of Agility will be with our Feral Hide Drums on Cruel. Defiled Augment Rune, which is the plus 11 main stat, the same as you get from a current rune. A Howling Rune for the weapon. And a Boralus Blood Sausage Food Buff. No old instance gear farm or anything like that. And let's get going. And I totally mess up and I don't get the stun or the stealth rake out. So I don't stun the boss, but that's fine. I think it empowers the rake too, even for a guardian. Either way, we're blasting away, mauling, single target damage, dotting up. I think I don't refresh my rake, but if that's called rip, my bad. Um, but we're going to just leave. Make sure we don't have too many stacks. At 5k, you start running into the point where any damage plus those mind runs will just kind of bleed you dry you can see i have the regrowth proc talent instead of the double frenzied regen uh it's usable in every every form and there's basically always up so i just felt that was a little bit better i'm not sure it really did anything too specific for me on this fight though and here i try to cyclone the boss which is not what i meant to do i meant to cyclone the infernal just to buy yourself some time and this is what i mean by just getting blasted by boss repeatedly you can do some damage so we do a very bad orb here and the reason why you don't want to do this is because after this they're going to start running around with their channel going and they'll kill velen or core boss they run over it and it means you have to have to in cap roar them as quickly as you can but also not too early because you need to in-cap roar all of them because even one ad doing its channel on top of you will just kill you and you also can't let them melee you a whole lot so those ads gotta die quickly kind of in every situation if you're tanking them for any amount of time without like an active heal rolling on you or a defensive or anything like that you're, you're doing it wrong so you want to dot them up spend every global you can dotting these things up before they even get there usually maul one of them right off the bat get that big thrash jump on an orb a couple AOE. I, I'm usually running away from them a little bit faster than that, but um, with just spamming Moonfires, because it does do significant damage, especially if you get the procs. So we push them real easily. What We just finished up some ads, and again, this is uh, without Incarn, which we do use now. We Incarn, we Rage of the Sleeper, and we start rolling Iron Furs. We know that's all we need for the very first Annihilate here. And I think Rage falls off. So... But we kick that, and then we're just making sure we don't do anything silly. Don't get knocked off by this Infernal. Doing our circle kite pattern, staying close to the orbs. Dotting up the adds. That's a good thrash. Got three of the adds with the thrash. We in-cap roar. He jumps after that, which was a portion I thought I was going to jump before. We orb. Buy ourselves a little bit of time. And you don't really want to spend much time out of bear form. I'm not going to rake up the boss. And that one, we survival instinct because I was like, okay, I don't have the bark or anything. Without the bark cooldown reduction talents that I used to have, it's not up as often. So, But I know I will only get one more Annihilate at most. And we're just hitting this orb because now we're just like, I'm going to kill him before I get that Annihilate. We're going to hit survival instincts before it dies. No, we don't because we didn't. We know we didn't need it. And the ads were kind enough to despawn on us. So that's cruel. Let's see what we got for the gear. Just a Dragonflight helmet with my main stat plus secondary stat i have the versatility the resplendent gem uh, a 319 pendant you can put old school enchant on that mark of the claw with verse gems down the row raging tempest two set i use the shoulders and the gloves the gloves have mastery which sucks but the shoulders have haste first i didn't otherwise have a haste first item i have a 319 surveyor's cloak with minor power enchanted on it i have a 319 leather chest with eternal stats enchanted on it you have the 319 leather wrists with greater agility no enchant for the the gloves because we can't do that i have a shadow belt class but this was something i used back in the day this is a shadow flame damage shadow flame did no damage here guaranteed um roiling shadow flame did 0.6 percent of my damage don't worry about that do any kind of stat uh embellishments right 319 boots means you can go eternal agility that's a big big fat enchant um 
Oh, and I didn't have my fierce armor kit on the uh, the legs. Fierce armor kit's a dragonflight enchant. Easy, easy, probably like two or three k to buy right now. And then we had abandoned new beginnings, which can take an accord of versatility enchant, which is higher budget. Again, verse gem there. Thunderous downburst ring, another verse haste item that I had. Ancestral protector stone. This is a verse proc item with uh, Agi main stat. Firax Tainted Rage Heart. I didn't use it for anything specific, but it's great to overlap with uh, either Rage of the Sleeper or Bark Skin for like a second Annihilate or something like that. Third Annihilate, you're always going to want to put Survival Instincts, Iron Furs, and maybe one other thing. I didn't even get it. The second one was enough to scare me into Survival Instincts. I don't know if you're going to survive a fourth one. I, I really don't. That said, also had the Frozen Writ Enchant. Now, this is Proc Versatility Enchant. It's a Dragonflight Enchant. It's great. And again, you see the Howling Rune there. And the Rashon weapon itself also did no damage. It, it always comes up under Vakash, which is a weird thing. And Rake, of course, doesn't do a bunch of damage overall. But, you know, when you're running out, if you can reapply it to the boss, that's great. Moonless Knight. Stand by that. Basically, think of Moonless Knight as this is just 20% additional damage to Maul and Mangle. Right? And that, and that is it, so... But quick uh, glance over the talent tree. Nothing crazy. I did have Ursals, which I didn't get a chance to use. What I like using that for is whenever I don't have Incap Roar, which I'm good at not using accidentally. This will allow the ads to get yoinked away from you if you need to run, but they will continue channeling, so it's a much worse option. Uh, I don't like Mass Entangle for anything. You can use it on Infernals, but I, I kind of cyclone them or ignore them or, or push them back. Lower the Grove, again, this isn't huge, but I just feel like Moonfire is going to have done 50% of my damage, right? 35% of my damage. Any buffs to that is good. It's your sustained damage throughout the fight. Uh, Incap Roar, of course. And again, I want to point these out. One, improved Bark Skin. This is probably hard to miss, right? So that's great. But Oak Skin increases Survival Instincts and Bark Skin damage reduction by an additional 10%. This is enormous. And you also have... A similar talent here, Reinforced Fur, which increases the armor from your Iron Furs and an additional 10% on Bark Skins. Bark Skins a 40% DR on this, and Survival Instance is a 60% DR. So, I, you know, I didn't pop the Heart of the Wild. And then Rage of the Sleeper. Again, it's more of a damage button, but you can use it for the first Annihilate, of course. It and Incarn are enough to make sure you're fully safe without really having to worry about anything. I was spending on Iron Furs. You didn't really have to do that for the first one. Okay, good news. I did have Mark of the Wild up in my previous, the two and a half minute kill or whatever it was. Uh, I didn't have Mark of the Wild. I like everything else in the world, but not Mark of the Wild. So, uh, And hey guys, so once we get our hero talents at max level and you kind of get your feet in the ground, it'll be significantly easier. So in the meantime, I would highly consider Greater Flask of Occurrence, Superior Battle Potion of Agility, Feral Hide Drums, a Howling Rune, and a Boralus Blood Sausage buff. Additionally, you can also do your best with your Dragonflight gear. Put some Verse, I mean, we're dying. Put some Verse gems in there. It's not, you know, the most ideal situation. People like haste more, but haste doesn't directly reduce damage. And again, Verse buff. Again, the Verse proc on the weapon. Weapon enchant. Verse proc on the... Ancestral Stone here. All the verse and main set that I could get, as well as the Raging 2 set. Also, the PvP 2 set, the Bloody Coin set, usually gives you uh, maybe 12 additional verse as well, so you can check those items out. There's really no good embellishments. I would just do the stacking crit one at a certain amount of health. I don't know, right? Like, nothing that's a flat amount of damage or a proc or anything like that. It's just not going to work. That said, for those of you who are... More interested in seeing how powerful you can get through older gear. I've made some progress there since my last video, which is cool. Not a lot of responses in showing me different examples of better gear yet, but I've I've been about. So I think we're going to show that on Prop Paladin maybe a day or two, uh, maybe later today. We'll see. But do keep in mind that you're never going to please everybody. If you're worried about how other people perceive the way you killed the boss don't be everybody else is doing something and kind of not saying ab anything about it i've not seen any kills with no consumes and unenchanted dragonflight gear with no gems right 
But when you see a video that says, you know, no gear farming required, uh, zero gems, mage tower strat, look at their consumables. They're going to be fully decked out in consumables. They'll have more than I have here. But just to kind of reiterate, you can't let anybody else dictate how you do this. At, at the end of the day, in two weeks, there's going to be people that attempted the mage tower throughout this pre-patch period. And there will be people that obtained the rewards they wanted to obtain. And then there will be people who didn't. And nobody will actually be considering what they've done it with. Get the reward if you want to get it. If you want to do a no consumes, no enchants, dragonflight gear. There's some worse gear you can get than dragonflight. Maybe we do... Like, where's the gray gear run, right? Like, so don't let anybody bully you in the comments. I'm not letting that shit stand. If anybody's getting picked on because of them participating in this conversation about how they can get stronger in the Mage Tower, then I'm I'm getting that guy right out of here. So the guy from the other day is gone. Well, we are free to proceed to that discussion unhassled. Two second advice on where to get this gear. There is... The best of the best gear so far looks to be stuff from Burning Crusade Dungeons and Raids that for some reason has overloaded amount of secondaries versus similar pieces as well as the corresponding number of sockets without the reduction of the primary stat. That said, it's like one or two per instance at best and those things drop two items at a time and there's a lot of items. You're much more likely to get a quick amount of gear running through one of the older raids. Seeds are throne of thunder dragon soul that said what used to be an expensive endeavor with purchasing the primordial ruby's wrong one the queen's garnets for 3k a piece you can just get the plus 23 secondary stat gems and do keep in mind you can still grab the saber's eye kraken's eye or leviathan's eye of agility all three of them actually put them in any of the gear you have any of the gear you have that has sockets even dragonflight gear can accept those gems do what you can. Nothing else matters. Get the rewards you want. Best of luck, guys. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help help you guys further. Anything I can clarify. Having a prop paladin video coming out soon. I think that'll be fun. I have some older stuff that you can't get anymore. So, you know, we'll see what that's like. I want to thank you guys for watching. Bears and Swings and new subs. Don't forget to sub if you haven't already. Just stay up to date on, like, Mage Tower stuff. We're going to go all 36 specs again in the first patch of next expansion. So I got two weeks before we're, we're really getting into it. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.